crazy motherfuckers. <laughs> now, I used to go to school here. This is the school uniform that we wore when I was here. And kind of funky it was, too. Okay, so uh, I better explain the tits. Um, didn't have those at school. Wanted to, but not in the school curriculum. Even though I asked. Um, didn't really, but... Because uh, I would have got my head kicked in. Oh, yes, sir. Um, uh, oh, yeah, so, so the breast thing, as a transvestite, it's my job, right? Just wearing breasts, you know, that's it. There's nothing, don't get hung up about it. But you see, initially, when I first came out, um, I was with breasts, mit breasts, as the Germans say. I think breast con breasts. Um, being a European, I know these languages. And uh, that's the first thing I say whenever I get to France, Germany, and Spain. Um, or South America, even. Um, and, but I was, I was with it, and then uh, it didn't seem to work because no matter how much makeup, how high the heels, people kept saying, Yes, sir! <laughs> would you like tea with that, sir? Yes, I would like tea. Why don't you put it on my breasts? <laughs> Certainly, tea for this man's breasts. <laughs> Anything else? No, yeah, just fuck off. Yeah. So I thought it's not working, so I threw the, my breasts out of the window of my Lamborghini <laughs> in my mind. No, I threw the breasts out of the window of my Ford Fiesta. In my mind. Uh, actually, I threw them over the handlebars of my bicycle. And, and they hit a small child who ran over, Mom, 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 been attacked by jellyfish. Jellyfish drive by shooting. It's just like South Central LA. Huh? Jellyfish attack me. Where are the tentacles? Uh, oh, they probably burned up in re-entry. <laughs> probably from Mars, Mum. Can I keep them and shove them up my jumper? <laughs> so I was sans breast, uh, owner breast, or whatever the other one is. And, um, and, and, and then I thought, no, I have breast envy. And Freud wrote about penis envy, and I, I, which I don't understand, actually, myself. Penis, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of penis neutral, you know, like penis, what's, what's not envy, and then there's, what's the opposite of envy? Um, what? 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 I'm ambivalent, yes, very good. <laughs> penis ambivalent, yes, yes, very like that. Well done, Eastbourne. Bit more, bit more voice, but good. What? You're Welsh, fantastic, that's great. <laughs> I'm, I'm European, and I know that causes that. <laughs> and so, you, but we all, yeah, it's fighting. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> There'll always be a uh, China. <laughs> now, so, ambivalent and Welsh, I don't know quite how they're going to get but very good heckle anyway. Um, I have penis ambivalence. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, is there one in the middle? Pe penis nonchalance. I have penis nonchalance, really. <laughs> I'm very nonchalant about penis. I try and make sure that, you know, that I wear a pair of trousers occasionally, or a skirt, or whatever, and don't just wave it at the vicar. <laughs> Seems to throw. <laughs> on, you know, on, in, on his Lamborghini. In his Lamborghini. Fuck that up. Right, um, <laughs> that's the trouble with ad-libbing. You just ad-lib and you can fuck up. It's danger. You see, an ad-libbing, you've got the edge of danger and nonchalance, or ambivalence, or penis. The, there's four sides to it. It's one of those, one of those things you get at school. Penis and... Ambivalent. Penis and... Lamborghini. <laughs> I used to do those. I don't can't remember what they... It was who, who you would kiss, basically. I seem to remember. And yet only certain people knew how to make them. And they were wizards. <laughs> and they, they could command things. I tell you must die. Oh, fuck. <laughs> And, and it must be passed down, isn't it? Like the ability to make paper aeroplanes. It's only, you know, that gets passed down. I know, I know, I make a really good one. Where was I taught that? Probably up the road at St. Bees. A uh, very good model aeroplane. I think, could, you know, I think it was there. <laughs> Might have been in Wales, because I was in Wales too. I've been everywhere. <laughs> oh, yes, very well travelled when I was a kid. I just, you know, my dad said, go, go where you want. <laughs> I'm going to Wales, Dad. I did. I did a cycle to Wales. From, from here. No, from Bexhill. Okay. <laughs> it did, and I got all the way there, and then on the way back I got bored and took a train. <laughs> that's me, because the crowds were smaller, and it, you know, no point, you know? Okay, that's too weird, that joke, isn't it? Okay. 
is too nonchalant slash ambivalent. <laughs> slash penis. Slash. Ooh, painful. <laughs> um, I'm not even... Don't laugh like that, please. Um, <laughs> What the hell? I was like, oh, yeah, so, so the breast thing. So, the breast. So, I, so then I thought, no breast. I thought, no, I'll go back and get some breasts. So I went to the breast shop, you know, which is uh, your local high street. A pair of your finest breasts, sir. And then it was just like that scene in Harry Potter where John Hurt's behind, ah, well, why not a pair of these? For you? <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think not those breasts. <laughs> Mr. John Hurt, maybe. Oh, maybe the double Ds would suit you. <laughs> So that was good, and, and they do have advantages. Oh, I hear you scream, what advantages? They don't, silently, but you know, they, <laughs> four guys with tits, you, you lose weight immediately. I mean, look, because your chest is bigger and you have this concave thing going on, look, that. Quite apart from the fucking corset, but that, you know. <laughs> and you do, and people go, hey, you've lost weight. No, I've got big tits. Ah. <laughs> there was a haircut or something going on there. So that's good. You can pull your boobs out and you can strap them around your ears in an aeroplane. <laughs> With a bandage, cuts the noise down, you know? Sorry, big pardon? <laughs> Especially when there's children crying. There's always a child crying on an aeroplane. It's, it's the law now. Sure. <laughs> Even if there's no child crying, they seem to go, Where's got children? Anyone got a child here? Ah! Right, come on then. You would... oh, I don't want to go. I don't want to go to Denver. <laughs> yeah, come on to Denver, come on. Shit, and I keep crying. Yeah! <laughs> For stop, I'll use the fork. Because <laughs> that's on the plate. If you've been on a plane, no knives anymore. Just that plasticky knife, which seems a bit sharp, actually, to me. <laughs> but the fork, of course, a metal lethal weapon that couldn't, no one could do any harm with that. If they stuck a fork in your juggler, you'd just be cut. Ah, I'm fine, thank you very much. <laughs> no, no real pain. Just a, uh, uh, lack of blood problem. Yeah. The forks are dangerous. They're going to go soon. Then there'll just be a spoon, and the people will be attacking us with <laughs> spoon, 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 spoon. And then they'll take the spoon away, and it'll just be cheese. It'll be fine with cheese. <laughs> <laughs> cheese, the cheese things. We do get crap on meals, don't we, on planes, you know. Well, to the extent you get on and, and you start, it all becomes so precious. Oh, the, the cheese and the thing. And the salad, oh, the salad, and the little individual thing in your stew. <laughs> Can I have more? No. <laughs> more than nibbly. Only one packet of nibblies? They're very small nibblies. Just 40 minutes in the air with a small packet. I can eat a hundred of these fuckers. Give me more. I'm afraid to come on the plane. I want more nibblies than this. I've got an allergy to them. I still want to eat them. Because remember nuts? We were eating nuts like crazy, and then there were no nuts because people exploded or something. <laughs> breasts, but you've heard of breast implants. These are not implants. If you think, oh, these are implants. No, they're not implants. They're nice squidgy, but they're not. They're imms, but they're not planted. <laughs> they're just imms. Your regular common or house garden imms. And, uh, but they do, you've heard on the aeroplane, that implant they explode, and that is, it happened to me uh, over 30,000 feet. Just like, yeah, I know what you mean. I have, I have a child. <laughs> Sorry about this. Just, boom. <laughs> yes, my left breast has exploded. Do you got a pillow? <laughs> And some more than nibbly, nibbly things. <laughs> but then you've got one L cup boob and a D cup boob. And you get a lot of looks. I already get a lot of looks. <laughs> so by the end of it, I've got the fork. <laughs> Boom. Another pillow. <laughs> and you go off with the biggest tits in Christendom. <laughs> as the Crusaders used to say. <laughs> now. That all went wrong, didn't it, the Crusaders? They went down, Oh, oh, what a mess. Thank God for Saladin, eh? Ah, oh, it's very 13th century, that joke. <laughs> or should I say 1200s? Isn't that just the bane of history, the fact that when they say 13th century, you haven't got a fucking clue what they're talking about? And that's just some sort of history expert 
You just know that if they say 13th century, it has nothing to do with the 1300s. But you immediately go into slow motion because they're going. And so in the 13th century, King Dingle Dang exploded at his bottom, and you go, 13th century. So that's not the 1300s. That's the 12th. And of course, King Dingle Dangle then invaded his own buttocks, and then in the 14th, it's either the 12th or the 14th. And you have to go back to the north century, and that's the first century in the north. And then he went to China and bought a packed lunch, and <laughs> came up, so it must be the 1200s. What? <laughs> My idea, radical as it may be, is to say if it's the 1200s, it's the 12th century. Why the fuck not? Then loads more people would sign up for history. Yes, and everyone would say, oh, I want to do history. I want to tell me what, who was Saladin? Who was he? Did he do salads? Is he a cooking program? <laughs> Should be funnier. Okay. <laughs> Who's doing Islamic cooking jokes, for fuck's sake? <laughs> I'd lived it as well. Why am I writing on my finger? <laughs> no one cares. But anyway, so the, all, all that's true, and the other thing, and that proves some of my theories. Um, where the fuck was I? What was I talking about? Breast, yes, I know, generally. But, but how far down the breast line was it? Um, oh, yes, oh, yes, exploding in aeroplanes. True, 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 except for the lies. Now, <laughs> also, you can grab your boobs, and women do this. I haven't seen women do this, but when you're talking to officials, I find it very, you know, just... <laughs> What? How fast was I going? <laughs> I, I don't even have a car. <laughs> 70 miles an hour on a scooter is a bit tricky. Or oh, bank managers. Well, I think 400 pounds is not a lot to ask for. Don't you think it's not a lot? <laughs> bank managers get, oh, yes, all right, there's a million pounds, go on, get out of it, you big breasted boy. <laughs> and and also, I have decided to associate with superheroes because we like superheroes. We have a human thirst for superheroes. We have many, the X-Men, the Y-Men, the B-Men, the C-Men. No, probably not them. Uh, <laughs> Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Superman, Catman, Batman, Dogman, Frogman. Um, Elephant Man, not a superhero. <laughs> Less in the girls' department, there's Wonder Woman and the super girl and the cat woman, she's sexy. But fit women in tight clothing, I think there should be more of that. I mean, as a male lesbian, I'm totally in flavor of that. <laughs> um, and, and that's, so that's now, superheroes. And it goes all the way back to the Greeks. I mean, Greek heroes, tons of them. Achilles, Greek hero with the Achilles. He's had Achilles ankle. Achilles what? Achilles ankle? Heel, yeah, sorry. Achilles had the Achilles heel. And, but, it, you know, I don't think it was like, if you flick it, he dropped dead. That doesn't make sense, does it? <laughs> I think it was more like a funny elbow, you know? And he just had a bit of a wobbly one. And if you got him, he went, ah, 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 oh, ow, fuck. And then he'd fall on a spike. <laughs> Agamemnon, he had an Agamemnon neck. <laughs> that was his weak spot. You know, if you caught him with an axe just there, he didn't like it. <laughs> And as his head rolled off, he'd go, ooh, ooh, booger. And they go into emergency chicken mode. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> what to do? Because that's what chickens do. As soon as their head's off, they, you know, they lean in slightly as they do that circle. Just keeps them going. Centrifugal force. <laughs> Basic physics. Dun, dun, dun. Chickens are going, what to do? What to do? Got no head. <laughs> no head. I can't think. I can't think. <laughs> I have no head. That's why. Uh, invade Birmingham. No. <laughs> I've lost all my strategic sense. <laughs> Fucking chicken. I'm not doing circles anymore. What am I doing? Oh. <laughs> well, well, I mean, chicken undertakers, they have a hell of a time. Here lies Steve the chicken, who died 23rd of July, 1927. Uh, 3.30 p.m. 3.35 p.m. Four, about four o'clock. <laughs> in the, uh, later that day. <laughs> here, here. Not actually buried here, because this is his chicken and we ate him. <laughs> if only he could pull the wishbone in his body and make a wish. That should be funnier. Um, <laughs> anyway, that's all from me. <laughs> My job's a weird job. <laughs> Speak to you soon. Love from Kenny. <laughs> P.S. My thumb hurts. 
Yeah, so Agamemnon, Ajax, he was also there. He was like uh, the cleaner, you know, he was like <laughs> Harvey Keitel in Pulp Fiction. And, and then there was King Many Layers, who was like a sponge cake. Yeah, I got a groan. Ah, I got a groan. You see that? Got a groan. Yes, yes, yes. I heard. I got a groan. That was a groaner. King many layers. Shouldn't have used that one. I didn't. That was someone else. <laughs> Is that your shoulder or what? <laughs> we'll, we'll cut all this out. <laughs> cut the whole show out up to now. Now I'll start. Okay. <laughs> oh, hang on. Scratch. <laughs> if you're wearing a skirt, you're not supposed to scratch. Girls never scratch, apparently. Or go to the loo. Or is that the royal family? I don't know. The royal family never go to the loo. They just st st store it up. <laughs> and then just before they die, they go... <laughs> yeah, the Queen's dead. <laughs> just came to me. Just ad living. It probably doesn't happen that way. There's probably other people who have tubes and things. Now... Don't... Even go there. Don't go there. You're filthy. You. Um, anyway. Uh... <laughs> no, no, no. It's a glove puppet. Um, uh, yes. So, so yes. Then the on the Trojan side, of course. Well, you've got you've got Helen, who says, you know, I, well, pa Paris seems like a personal shopper to me. You know, with the name like, yeah, I've just been there and uh, got new socks and everything. And I found this woman, Helen. I mean, how did he get her to go, come on, come on, Helen, let's go. I don't know, it might cause a rumpus. <laughs> I don't think so. Come on. <laughs> Fucking hell, what a rumpus. <laughs> Dad found this woman. Whoa, where's she from? She's from Sparta. Ah, oh, you twit. <laughs> Lift upstairs, see if there are any ships on the horizon. <laughs> oh, I got dizzy. Uh, <laughs> ships. Yeah, yeah, the ship. Well, how many? Uh, for the, all of them. <laughs> you fucking nutter. You've got a whole of... Sp all the Greeks who don't actually exist yet as a, an entire unity, they're all coming. <laughs> they're all coming, the Spartans, the Athenians, and all the other guys around there who will later have a civil war just after the Second World War. <laughs> you know your future history. I do. <laughs> But, Dad, she's such a bonzer woman, and I want to shag her brains in. Right. Well, good reason, anyway. <laughs> Come on, let's, uh, let's make a horse out of clay. <laughs> so, and that, and that was written up as a book. That was the whole story. It was called, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> and, uh, what a mistake. And Odysseus, he was also there. Odysseus, who did the Odyssey. And, uh, with, lucky, if he was Jonathan, he would have done the Jodyssey. <laughs> He was there, and he didn't fight. Go on there, just kick him in the front. Help us, Odysseus. I can't, I've got this, this odyssey I'm going to do on the way back. So, uh, I've already sold the rights for the book. <laughs> you lazy bastard. And he did, he had a huge adventure, and there's a thing with a pig, you know, who got lost in a maze. No, it was a pig, it was a cow. Big cow, wasn't it? I haven't read this bit, and Edith Hamilton. <laughs> and then there's a guy with one eye, uh, called One-Eyed Guy, and... Uh, <laughs> Blue Osses or something. And, uh, and, and the, the island, the island of the naked with the sirens, who were beautiful women who would sing to s attract sailors. Come over here <laughs> in your ships. We are naked, shaggable women. <laughs> Sail your ships over here and we're shagging each other at the moment. <laughs> ah. Bit flat, Susan. Ah, we've got very good uh, parking for ships. <laughs> Birthing things and just fucking get over here. We're not sure what the song was, but it could have been something. <laughs> come over here, would you come? And the sailors would come over and they'd crash on the rocks and drown and die. And the women would go, ha 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 ha. <laughs> Which is a very girly trick. Because I've heard about it in school. When I grew up as a boy, against my will, but, you know, as a boy, it was very much a violent sort of... Uh, I wouldn't actually have a huge amount of fights. I'd argue. I'd go, no, no, I'm not... No, the United Nations say I'm a special case. And do stuff like that and stop getting beaten up that way. But girls would do the mind control thing, of, it seems, of going, we're not talking to her. <laughs> which is completely evil. But boys just do violence, which is 
so stupid and more blockheaded. But anyway, the whole bloody les well, not, I don't know, I don't know if it was a lesbian island, but it sounds fantastic. Anyway, um, <laughs> but just sing it. There were sirens. They were probably standing on the cliff going. <laughs> or, or maybe they were going <laughs> and Odysseus sailing by going someone's trying to break into the island <laughs> <laughs> probably wasn't on a speedboat though was it Probably one of those big rigging boats with a, with a big steering wheel. Someone's trying to break into the island. Or, or, or on a bicycle. Someone's trying to break into the island. Or just swim. Someone's trying to break into the island. Or, uh, what is it? Someone's trying to break into the island. Row, you fuckers. <laughs> just for the DVD, you see? Different endings. <laughs> Can't we? Someone's trying to... Someone playing cricket. <laughs> Someone's trying to break into the island. <laughs> Someone's trying to break into the island. <laughs> Too many endings. Okay. <laughs> so that was fun though. And 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 then there was Perseus. Perseus was a Greek hero, son of Zeus. Perseus, you see, Perseus through Perseus, Perseus. Perseus, 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 Perseus. This is a new form of teaching called shouting at people until they agree. <laughs> well, he was a son of Zeus anyway, and his wife and his mother and the thing and a hole in the ground. And, and, and uh, what happens? Because all the Greek myths, it looks like they were written by someone with an enormous bag of weed. <laughs> and then the green monkeys who lived in a sponge cake all decided to dress up as an enormous tart and it just goes on and on. Perseus, he goes to a wedding, a king who's getting married says, uh, where's my wedding present? Says, oh, I forgot, uh, what about tissues? No, that's not gonna work. What I want is the head of Medusa, who's a gorgon from the cheese family. <laughs> Bring me her head. What she look like? She's got snakes for hair and if you look at her, you turn to stone. All right, no problem. <laughs> she get chatted up a lot? Not really. All right. I'll go and get her. What, just the head? Yeah, and a wing, maybe. Maybe, like, maybe some fries as well. <laughs> Freedom fries, fuck off. <laughs> and he goes, where's Medusa live? Oh, I don't know. Go to the island where the grey women live. Three grey women who have one eye between them that they take out and swap round. And then... <laughs> It's in there, you read it. And then he grabbed the eye. He was advised to grab the eye when they're passing it around. Where's the fucking eye? I gotta go to the loo. Where's the eye? I've got it. Oh, bum, the guy, the visitor's got it. He says, tell me where Medusa lives. All right, lives at number 23. All right. <laughs> There's your eye. Ah, oh, I fucking lost it. Hang on. That's a marble. <laughs> that's a sheep's eye. Oh, that's weird. Should be funnier. Anyway, so then he goes there and Medusa, there's three Gorgons. You don't remember the other two, do you? No. Medusa, she lost her head, but she got well known for it. And the other two Gorgons, I don't know, Fred and Jim or something. And Medusa's there going, he's coming to kill us, son of Zeus, coming to kill us. And the other two are immortal, though, which is kind of handy. <laughs> no, he's not coming to kill us. Well, he might, Simon, he might kill you. No, I, I'm immortal. <laughs> but what about you, Andrew? No, I'm immortal too. Simon, Andrew, both immortal. Where, where was I when the immortality van came by? <laughs> you were off buying snake food. <laughs> Bloody hell. Hey, I'm going down the hairdressers. How, how did you get a hair done? Because we wake up in the morning, our hair's all over the fucking place. And then we sort of sort the hair out. She'd wake up, her hair's all over the place all day. Probably hair wakes up before her. Oh, Christ. Put a video about mice on the telly, the fucking snakes are... <laughs> Hairdressers hate it. Oh, bloody hell, it's Medusa. Sit down. So, what it, what it... What? Calm down. Can you tell your hair to calm the fuck down? 
Bloody... Hey, you, give me a hairbrush. Janine, can you shampoo? <laughs> Not on your life. <laughs> just a... Just a trim, was it? <laughs> Do your roots. So, yeah, so, and then and in the end, Perseus, he, he gets given magic things because the gods like him. And, uh, and he gets given a magic hat and magic trousers and a magic tractor and a uh, <laughs> magic purse. It's very camp. And, and then he ends up killing Medusa because he uses reflective surface because you can't look at her, turn to stone. So he's got a shield to attack, but a shield, of course, is con cave and therefore inverts the image like in a box brownie not only reflects it but inverts the image how the fuck do you attack using that you'd be going <laughs> could you stand still please <laughs> are you immor you're immortal you're one of the immortal ones uh, hi siren how are you <laughs> yes yeah, is your sister in no, no reason. Uh, all right, I'll, I'll come back later. Ta. Crazy bloody story. And then there's a pers uh, winged horse and everything. Now, so what is my point? My point is, is that the reason of the superhero thing, the, the, the linkage thing, transvestites and superheroes, is because we have a big similarity. Both superheroes and transvestites, we both have to change before we help people. <laughs> we both have to change clothes before we help people. Except for transvestites don't actually help people. But, <laughs> but apart from that, fantastic similarity. <laughs> help, help a small child, it's a help a Superman. <laughs> What's the problem? He's, uh, he's got a bruised knee, a uh, grazed knee. OK, you want Savlon on that and, uh, and then a plaster over the top. Um, are there any others? No, it's just him. What was it, an earthquake? No, he fell off his bike. <laughs> right, I don't normally come out for bicycles. This. <laughs> Because, I mean, that would have mended itself. We just wanted to meet you, really. <laughs> Why do you wear your underwear on the outside? <laughs> yes, I don't normally get out of bed for less than a helicopter. Is it a helicopter crash? No, just, just this bike. Can you mend the front wheel? No, fuck off. <laughs> Why do you wear your pants on the outside? It says on shopping. <laughs> Washing. second answer got a much better reaction than the first one. <laughs> yeah, the first one was wrong. The second one got a huge reaction. As if I just won the World Cup. <laughs> well, compared to that Superman, compared to Captain Transvestite. Captain, help us, Captain Transvestite. Help a child is a... <laughs> Actually, no, it's... <laughs> and then it's 20 minutes to get changed. That's the fastest I've ever done it. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Like a bloke. <laughs> okay, what, 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 what? He's dead. <laughs> the kid's dead now. Well, I came as fast as I could. Yeah, well, he, dead gangrene set in. It's bloody quick. Well, he fell in a lump of gangrene, you see? <laughs> I came as fast. You were 20 minutes. Yeah, I had a glass of wine, but I mean, <laughs> Superman doesn't have a glass of wine. He might, he might, you know, liquid and fuel injected. Wine into his body, you don't know. It's true, I don't, actually. <laughs> but he's dead now. He's completely dead. I've got a lip liner. What the fuck's that going to do? I'd draw a line around him for the police. <laughs> uh, uh, fingers. Fingers. Fing he's got too many fingers. That's not a human child. Martian child. Martian child. Lying here. Martian child. Comes from Mars, not from here. Martian child, good at cooking. <laughs> they would. The Martians would make excellent cooking program people. Wouldn't you tune in? Now, Martian, first Martian fan does cooking program. You tune in. I think I take that as a huge silent yes. <laughs> I should be a politician. I hear your silence and take it as yes. <laughs> this silence I hear is no, because I wish it to be. But Mars, it came to visit us. Mars, the red planet. It came 
so close to the earth. And if you stood on the roof of your house with an extended car arrow and you had a frog on the end of that with a long tongue who had a stick insect on the end of that, who, and the stick insect was holding one of those tape measures you had when you click it off and you used it as a saw when you're a kid and they kept going, boom, and, it, and it go, boom, so you have to make it a certain size. Now, if you had all that and then you waggled it around, you could almost touch Mars if you were mad. <laughs> Yeah, it didn't actually, it's 35 million miles away. That was a long, bloody way away. I mean, I want to be woken up when Mars is... Ah. <laughs> that's, the no that's the noise you need, isn't it? You know when those spaceships go by in, in, in sci-fi? Ah. <laughs> mom, 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 Mars is at the kitchen window. Go look. Ah. Number 23 is gone. Ah. But Jesus had it. Ah. I want Mars to be so bloody close I can nip out in the garden and leap up and then Mars's gravity will grab you and go boom, 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 boom. You say, kids, nip outside for a bit of boom. <laughs> All right, mum, boom. Mum, mum, Johnny's stuck on Mars. We'll catch him the next time round. <laughs> How long does it take for Mars to go round? Oh, about... Dot, dot, dot. Don't know. <laughs> How long? How long does it take for Mars to go? What's a Martian day look? How long? A week. Is it a week? Did somebody pass that on? Was that a week? <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Whatever I said, a week. <laughs> Edit that together, you see. <laughs> but it's, it's, I mean, I find it exciting. I don't know about you, but I do find the Mars coming to... I mean, it went from one pinprick in the sky to three pinpricks in the sky. And I was in Los Angeles at the time, driving around in my Lamborghini, in my mind. I was, <laughs> I was going around a pogo stick in Los Angeles and... And in my mind, <laughs> I was actually in Eastbourne in a Lamborghini. No, I wasn't. I, I was on Mars looking at Earth. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> I don't know where I was, but it went from a little pinprick to three pinpricks. And I went, ah, ah, ah. Oh, no, there it is. Ah. <laughs> but it's exciting in a sort of tedious type way, isn't it? It's exciting in a kind of, oh, fuck off. <laughs> because they went to the moon. The Americans and the Russians went to the moon. And it was, remember, because Russia was ahead. Russia was first up, and then America got up. Russia went around on the earth. And, and then Russia got a fish up, a dog, a cat, a monkey, a tractor up there. And then they were going to the moon. It's Russia, America, who's going to be first? And then Russia went, I don't want to go to the moon. <laughs> I'm fed up anyway. I'm fed up. Never want to go there. I don't know what they did. Maybe they thought, there's only rocks there. But with a Russian accent, there's only rocks there on the marsh, you know. <laughs> I've borrowed this accent from a shop, I'm not sure if it's right. There's only grey rocks there on the moon, you know. <laughs> Do you think so? I think so. <laughs> I think it is pointless for us to go there. <laughs> for we will find only grey rocks <laughs> and we'll waste a load of cash. The could be spent on vodka. <laughs> Aye, I'm thinking too. <laughs> we have become Scottish. <laughs> Aye, from the north of the Highlands. <laughs> what the fuck was that first action? I don't know. <laughs> but they went Mars, it's... Well, there's not much up there. It's red rocks. On the moon, there's grey rocks. On Mars, there's red rocks. And that's it. And it's a bit boring. It's like, it's like archaeology, you know? Arche archaeology, I mean, that's a slow thing, isn't it? Arche it can't be speeded up. Archaeology's got three bloody vowels in the middle. Archaeology, I mean, what the hell's going on there? Did, they just, did someone just unload a bunch of vowels in the middle of it? Because <laughs> that's where you get your accents. If you know, if you look at accents, they're all changes in vowels. It's all e, a, o, e, o, a, e, o, a. It's not the consonants, they're always. <laughs> But archaeology, archaeology. As you go around the country, it's archaeology, archaeology, archaeology. <laughs> Some of these counties don't exist, of course. With archaeology. <laughs> oh, you're doing a bit of archaeology. <laughs> 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 
But the time team, we have the time team in Britain. Speed archaeology. Archaeologists on the drug speed. And that's what you want. Speed this fucking thing up. Ding, ding. Because the normal stuff's going to slow. They say, we found stuff. Archaeologists, you found stuff? What have you found? What have you found with my circular thing? Uh, well, give us a toothbrush in 10 years and we'll tell you. <laughs> give you a toothbrush in 10 years and you'll tell me. What are you, captain of the alliteration club? <laughs> Four, five, six. <laughs> It's just, you know, time team though, I like that. Three days, dig stuff up, and they fucking dig, dig, dig it up, dig it up. What the fuck is it? Good, what? What have we found? I've dug a big hole. What is it? It's Greek, it's Spanish, it's Venezuelan. I don't know, it's some guy, some dead guy. I like it, I, and I went and helped them. I love time team. And I saw, saw 10 episodes of it, and uh, no, I've seen episodes for 10 years of time too. And I, they had their celebi come and dig a ditchy type thing. And I came and dug a ditchy. And I really dug a, I hadn't dug a ditch all my life. I've never dug a ditch. I never did much ditch digging, you know? <laughs> I did sand castles and then I dug that fucking, and I dug nothing in it. And that's true archeology. span Sometimes there's nothing in there. Except some worms going, have you seen Medusa? <laughs> no, I haven't. We are her hair in later years. <laughs> oh really, do you do a tight perm? Yes, we can. <laughs> when I first came out as transvestite, I went and I thought I should get a perm, so I went and I get a perm in Islington. And they gave me rollers like this. And I remember these big, sort of Cindy Crawford type rollers. And these were these tiny things, old lady rollers. I came out looking like a bizarre footballer. <laughs> that was not a good day. <laughs> but I so thought it was right, I went back again and said, give me another one. Haven't you got bigger rollers? And he said, no, there exist no rollers bigger than that. <laughs> True, but kind of boring story. <laughs> so, yes. Uh, whatever I was talking about. It's the archaeology thing. Um, so, uh, yeah, I dug this ditch. I dug a ditch and I went, there was nothing in it. And that was true, that was archaeology. And then I thought, actually, I wanted, to f I, I wanted to find a hoard of Roman coins or a sword or a Viking helmet. And I realized, I'm not into archaeology, I'm into piracy. <laughs> that's what I wanted to find. Because piracy, and, which is what the Vikings were. They were. That's what Viking means. And they were brilliant. They brought us a lot of, because they took over the whole of Eastern uh, England, essentially. And, and some, you know, up in Scotland as well. And a lot of their language, words like kiosk, that's a Viking word. And it came from when they raped and pillaged. They rape and pillage and, and awful and blood everywhere and limbs hacked and money stolen. And then it said, if you have enjoyed today's experience, you can get some souvenirs in the kiosk, <laughs> which is just down on the beach. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, so I was talking before about people who have to change before they help. There's, there's a third group, firefighters. They change clothes before they help. And they do a very good job. We like them. We pull over in our cars. As soon as we go, no, 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 we jump. You look up in the mirror, fire. You look out the window, you, on the front of the van, you see Erith. <laughs> fire. Erith. And you almost go, get the Erith van out of the way. Get out of the way. Let the firefighters through. Then the police come. You police. And you look out, you see Echilop. <laughs> get out of the way, Echilop. <laughs> Echilop, one eyed monster. The police through, and then the ambulance comes, and that's good. <laughs> it's, a good it's a good thing too. But the police, we, I think we pull over somewhat more reluctantly for the police. The police should go, because uh, there could be good cop, bad cop, there's, there's politics involved, sometimes they're beating up the wrong person, there's stuff like this. Firefighters, no politics, you just, Godspeed! And they go, which god? Uh, the Buddhist gods. They don't have gods. Well, technical. And anyway, he wouldn't go very fast. He's a big lad. Yes. <laughs> Just fuck off. I mean, in a nice way. But they never have good firefighter, bad firefighter, you know? They never go, Hitler and Nelson Mandela are stuck in a building. Get them both that. They get them both that, you know, the equality. Yeah, come on, Hitler, Nelson. Actually, Nelson. Come on, hang on a sec, Hitler. Nelson. <laughs> it was Nelson Mandela. Give him a cup of tea. Hitler, hang on. I, I got to get a, uh, I've got a stone in my shoe. I'll just, I'll be right. Just. Just hang on there. Keep your moustache on. <laughs> oh, he's all burnt up. <laughs> oh, tragedy. Oh, well, la-di-da. Uh-huh. 
It's where Annie Hall meets Hitler's last days in the bunkers. La di da. Well, no more tennis for me. It's <laughs> a very funny joke. <laughs> so, yes, and the firefighters, they have a slidey pole. All firefighters do have this in England, China, Venezuela, Afghanistan. Slidey pole to get them from the first floor to the ground floor in double quick time. And I just thought, why not have a room on the ground floor? <laughs> right next to the fire engine. Because the fire engine would be here, and you'd be sitting right next to it and going, yes, I know what you mean, Steve, but I found when there's a fire, <laughs> this would be the response time. <laughs> Point two of a nanosecond. <laughs> on the first floor, it's just inefficient. 20 guys, fire, fire. Down the slide, form a queue, form a queue. Go, 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 jump. Push him! <laughs> He's got his legs stuck now. <laughs> Just the, pull it. Uh, use your axe. Cut it. Cut his leg. Hack his, I'm going down the lift. I'm going. Never go in the lift in a fire. You're right. <laughs> it's not here. Uh, it's not efficient, is it? Now, it obviously harkens back from years ago in the 19th century. 1800. Oh. <laughs> that they, you know, when, when the, the, they didn't have motorised uh, fire vehicles, they had the vehicles that were pulled by, by horses or, or marmots or v you know, vermin or whatever, panthers sometimes. <laughs> the fire was put out and seven people died as the panthers at them. <laughs> but apparently, those are all lies, but the horse thing. Apparently they put the thing in because the horses, they used to try and get up the, up the stairs. And, and so they had to put a pole in so they could, no, let us up! Let us up, we want to play canasta. Come on, let us up, we're going to blackjack too. They're going, get down, get down the horses. Horses trying to get out and play cards, get out of it. Yeah, no, let us up, let us up. We got a weird voice. I don't know how to do a horse voice. Hello. <laughs> Let us up, let us up, or I'll blow the hair off my chinny chin chin. <laughs> Surely that's copyright, I don't know. Um, yeah, so, that, so that's true. That, that's obviously, that sounds stupid, but that's actually true. That's actually true. They, the horses used to try and get upstairs. I, I made it up as a piece of rubbish. And I asked a firefighter, and he said that's how they got up. They used to go up the stairs. Horses would come upstairs, not to play cards necessarily. <laughs> But you see, I think the firefighters do a good job, so they should just come up front and say, there's no reason for a slidey pole, but we want one. And we go, yeah, have one, have more, have several. Have a big snakes and ladders house. So the bell goes, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> one outside the building. <laughs> one, 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 double turn and pike and twist and <laughs> into an open top fire engine. <laughs> Put on the sign. Come to me. <laughs> Bring your ships upon the shore. We've got parking. Naked women. Uh -huh. That's the Greek siren, you idiot. Not supposed to play that to the way back. <laughs> and they have a bag of cats next to the window and they throw them out. One by one. That's where you get that noise. Meow. <laughs> Meow. Meow. And it just so happens that Dr. Doppler was sitting in his car one day. Meow. Meow. Do you see the change in notes of cats? This is a very interesting effect that I have been studying now for the last two minutes. And I will write a paper on this. Well, what will you call it? I'll call it the change in note of cats effect. You should call it the Doppler effect then people would shag you. <laughs> yes, yes, for my parents, yes. Good idea, not for the shagging, which is just fun. But it's worked well for you, Professor Pavlov. <laughs> yeah, mainly dogs, though, they tend to <laughs> get you on. It's rather embarrassing, really. I wish I'd never rung those fucking bells. <laughs> Drive me crazy, dogs keep eating everything. Down the dog food shop, driving me nuts. <sighs> But the whole th the, the, the thing I was talking about, the superhero thing, the reason is fear. I'm good, I'm, I've, I've tried to push fear back as a you know, transvestite, push fear back. Sure enough, because I had fights, you know, people give me shit in the streets. They go, hey, what's the fucking thing, and all this. And I've learned martial arts since I had a big fight about five years ago. I'm now a black belt in sashimi. 
um, which if you know sushi, it's like that, but it's sashimi. It's just raw fish and you fling raw fish at people. <laughs> anyway, salmon, salmon, tuna, salmon, salmon, tuna. The white one that's horrible. <laughs> and that only gives you about 10 seconds of shock where they're going, what the fuck? This is fish. <laughs> and when they're in the what? You go, wasabi! <laughs> Big ball of wasabi down the throat. <laughs> so that can work. I encourage you to try that if you're insane. Um, also, I know I'm a black belt in fuckendo, which is basically just swearing at people. You fuck off, you fucking ass. <laughs> oh, come around here, fuck. And never say this one. Come over here and say that, because they, they tend to. Oh, he is very good. Over there. Oh, so stupid. But I've worked out how to get out of that. All you got to do is say, now go over there and say that. <laughs> now come over here and say that. You be good when there. Now go over there and say that. Now go to Venezuela and say that. <laughs> well, whether in Venezuela, you can escape, of course. <laughs> but it is, it's, it's, it's this fear thing. Show no fear. And, uh, and that's what it's like. It's like animals, like sharks. Sharks, they can s smell blood, hear blood, taste blood. T they can taste and hear blood. No, they can't. They've got no ears, have they? <laughs> sharks, their ears are so swept back, they swept them all the way down the turn, and they could only hear things right at the back. <laughs> they, swept, they, they comb their ears back. Sharks are just evil fucking beasts. They're protected, but they're evil fucking beasts. I mean, you know, those eyes, the eyes are actually useless. They're just transfers. They're put on from an FX model. They're just... <laughs> so you can actually go up to a shark and go... Da -da 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 -da, and they won't take offense because they can't see you. It's the nose. The nose is sonar. It's complete like, like a bong in a... Bong. They send up pings. Ping. Probably not pings. Could just be... <laughs> But the nose, if you, if you bank them on the nose, but if you, if you get near a shark, you know, off the coast of East Bonnie, <laughs> bloody great big shark, they just hit him on the nose and they go, whoa, they don't know where you are. Or if you kiss them on the nose, they get all friendly. <laughs> or if you stick your finger in their nostril, they just go, oh. <laughs> and if you don't believe me, turn to the person next to you and stick your finger in their nostril. And go, oh, oh. It's true, I've seen a picture in National Geographic, a guy with his finger, I'm not sure if it's a nostril, but it's somewhere, that flappy bit behind. Because I don't know if sharks ever go, <laughs> and I get to the thing, there with I. <laughs> but they're mean and evil, they've got all those teeth, but they're protected, they are protected, the great white shark, a protected species, because if they all die, there won't be any huge murdering beasts in the sea. <laughs> Which I think is a good thing, isn't it? Anyway, so forget that. But, but uh, dogs are interesting. I, with dogs, I show, again, show no fear. I go up to dogs and I put my hand in front of their mouth and to show I'm not scared about biting. And the dogs never, ever, except occasionally, bite me. <laughs> but if they do try to bite me, I pull away and, and then I pull back, you see, so the dogs are now upside down. <laughs> but I undercut them and they come underneath and like over the top, underneath, over the top. And I spin round until the dog is going round in circles and I throw in towels and it does a good tumble dry. Um, <laughs> 15 minutes. A bit arduous. But a lot of dogs are not too bright upstairs. The bright dogs were with the Egyptians, obviously, in the early days. They're all on their walls, you know those dogs? The dogs and the Egyptians. And I think they probably were from another planet and they went woof, 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 pointy things, woof, 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 bye. <laughs> went off on a spaceship. They left behind the dogs going, ooh. <laughs> Like greyhounds. Greyhounds are not too sharp upstairs. They get put in a cage once a week, and they go, what am I doing in a cage? What have I done? Bunny rabbit, bunny rabbit, bunny rabbit, bunny rabbit. Bunny rabbit. Bunny rabbit. <laughs> now they should be going deja vu. <laughs> I've chased this bunny rabbit before. Because you know this bunny rabbit, I've this bunny rabbit And they're chasing off the same bunny rabbit, but you look in a greyhound's eyes as they're, they're just... Bunny rabbit, bunny rabbit, bunny rabbit. Total focus, bunny rabbit, bunny rabbit. And they should have the cameras on the dogs at the end after the race, because they'll be going, fucking bunny rabbit. It's the fastest fucking bunny rabbit I've ever seen. <laughs> have you ever caught the bunny rabbit in this thing? Stevie, Jimmy, Harry? Yeah. Too fucking fast. It's like they're nailed to a railway line. <laughs> fucking fast. There should be one dog bright enough to go, let him go, let him go, Steve, Harry, Jake, let him go. Let that fucking bunny rabbit go. Well, I'll tell you why, I got a plan. I think if we stay right here, and we let that bunny rabbit go, that bunny rabbit there, he's gonna come back round. 
He is. Look, he's curving around. He's curving around. He's curving around. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. All right. Everyone, look casual. Look casual. He's got a metal front wheel. <laughs> Bunny rabbits don't have wheels. Oh. Guide dogs, they are bright. They get chosen, especially chosen. You, you have the look in your eyes, the look of intelligence. You will become a special dog. The dog goes, food? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, don't you? Come, I will make you a leader amongst dogs. Food now? <laughs> With marrow, the yummy bit of humans? <laughs> Come. I will make you a leader who will lead people with restricted eyesight. Food at dog shop? Dog food shop? I like dog food shop. And they're trained. These dogs are trained. They're there with come 175 degrees magnetic. Church with a spire. <laughs> meow. Ding, ling, ling, dog food shop. <laughs> the trouble with guide dogs, they'll always take you to a dog food shop. You may not want to go there. But I met someone, uh, I know someone in, in, in Melbourne, she had a guide dog that was a failed guide dog. Brilliant, this dog failed. <laughs> it was obviously, uh, no, uh, uh. <laughs> if you, um. You're no help. <laughs> meow, 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 oh, meow, 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 meow. meow. Where's your owner? <laughs> Gone upstairs? <laughs> what? What? Hang on a I wasn't supposed to be wearing that. <laughs> and they're supposed to be, I just nicked this off a sergeant who was walking by, <laughs> as you can see. He didn't need it. And there's someone going to cut a triangle out of my skirt. <laughs> the triangle cutting uh, people. They go, oh, cut and triangle. Not rhomboid, no. Because <laughs> triangle's good, you know where you're triangle, square, yeah. Rhomboid, you go, oh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> it's a square, squashed over. Well, why? I don't know. Why isn't it a diamond? Oh, get off. <laughs> now, ah! oh, these are quite good because you can play them. Bong, bong, bong. Ah, ah. Come to them. Bong, bong, bong. Because there's two pairs, see. <laughs> no expense. <laughs> now, Africa, I hear you ask. <laughs> now, <laughs> yes, well, it's true. Now, I, call, I, I do research these days. I used to not do research, and I let research come up to me and go, you know, chickens are hairy. And I go, oh, really? Oh, actually. Uh, they're feathery. Um, and when you cut the head off, they're slightly more intelligent. Um, <laughs> you know, they're ex-dinosaurs. Chickens are the only dinosaurs that survived. Or something like that. Didn't somebody tell me? Like <laughs> I don't know, I pick up shit. But, <laughs> and interesting facts as well. Now, <laughs> I prefer the facts, because otherwise... <laughs> love that. Love that. Um, uh, where was I? Oh, yes. So the research, research. I now, I buy books. I bu do I read them? No, because I'm a slow reader. I take a lot in, because the fast readers, they go, I read a book last night. I read War and Peace uh, while going to the toilet. You know, I just... <sighs> but they didn't take it in. It just went... 
I said, what was it about? Uh, uh, Sabutio. I don't know. What? <laughs> I take it all in, you see. But then anyway, I bought a speed reading book because I wanted to speed it up. Have I read the speed reading book? No. <laughs> um, but logically, that's one book that as you read, you should, there should come a point where you go, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> then you can then put your hand on the thing. <laughs> And if I read that one, I could read all the others really quickly. But will I, I just keep going back to Steve McQueen's biography. And uh, so anyway, so Africa. I watched two DVDs on Africa. Mm. And it has proved through the DNA, or Dunar, as we call it now, <laughs> that Crick and Watson and the other guy and the woman who was dead and so didn't get the Nobel Prize, they found the Alpha Helix, and it proves that we're all from Africa, you see. Proved through the Y chromosome and through the mitochondrial DNA that we're all African, which is brilliant, because it means that racist people can retire. <laughs> and, yes, they have done well. Wonderful, wonderful racist people brought bile and hatred into the world and many, many deaths, piles of bodies. Um, Hitler, there's an interesting person, oh, he dealt with hatred. If he hadn't hated so many people, he killed, you know, six million Jews and uh, so many fucking millions of people. And if he hadn't killed them, a lot of them were German citizens, they would have fought for him. He could have won. Yeah, <laughs> think about that. If he hadn't hated so much, that's... Anyway, um, that's another war. So, so what's my point? So anyway, Africa, we're all from there. And racist people, interestingly, are never as polite as smokers. Have you noticed that? <laughs> Smokers always go, do you mind if I smoke? Oh, you do? Okay, I'll go outside and have a cigarette. Racist people never go, do you mind if I'm racist? <laughs> oh, you do? I'll go outside. <laughs> Fucking blue people, eh? Come round here, steal our hamsters. <laughs> That's right. Bye. Yes, now where were we? Children, they're lovely, aren't they? <laughs> now, I have worked out that personally, I'm a hunter-gatherer type. This is my body type. You know, there's very thin, pe thin people who eat pigs and they say, oh, I haven't put a thing on, you know, and that's, that's tricky in its own way because they can't get any bigger. And I can get bigger, thank you very much. If I look at a piece of lettuce, I go, <laughs> I am designed, I'm a runny person. I'm not, not a runny like camembert, but, but a runny. <laughs> I'm designed to go, boom, boom, boom. The loneliness of the long distance runner or the, the, the sort of less loneliness of the two long distance runners, you know. <laughs> I'm good at that. So I think I'm a hunter-gatherer. I think my dinar goes back to the hunter-gatherers. And you know they love them, why do they love them? I just think I'm a hunter. I don't know if I'm a gatherer. I'm not very tidy. I think I was a kind of, yeah. Got them, got, it, got that badger. And then, Steve, could you gather that? Hunter and a gatherer. Not a hunter-gatherer, hunters and gatherers. You know, some other people, oh, I'll get that. They're very good because they're very fastidious. There's a badger left. You left a badger here. Because I think I'd be a hunter and I'd come back. Where's the badgers? Ah, oh, fucking left them. <laughs> left them on, on, the, on the cops. <laughs> on the knotty hill bit. <laughs> on the crag. And I think that sort of relationship, it was like a golfing relationship. He said, oh, look, look, a gazelle. What do you think? So, I think a three spear. So, yeah, a three spear. <laughs> Wasabi! <laughs> Gazelles are really fast, like, oh, you are, miss it. Get another three spear. And then uh, small ones like uh, marmots, you go, oh, just a wood. Just a wood, thank you. <laughs> well, never got applause there before. <laughs> That's what his porn likes. <laughs> you like that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't fucking humor me. You must love that thing on the pier you get where you hit the rat thing. That hit the fucking rat. What a fucking brilliant guy. Fuck, hit the fucking rat. Because if you haven't seen it, rats, uh, there's about eight rats and they're just below the surface and they come up and you have to hit them. And it's just, hit a rat. Rat, Buddhist monks must love it. Fucking rats. Bubonic plague. What a wonderful plague, bubonic plague. It's such a big word, bubonic plague. It's not the black death. Oh, black death. It's the bubonic plague. The Havasablonic Plague, the Sintelntrandlmondelic Plague. You know, <laughs> Mr. Bubon, who uh, invented it, who first went, a tissue, a tissue. <laughs> What's up, Mr. Bubon? I think I've got the plague. <laughs> the bubonic plague? Could be. <laughs> What's the symptoms? My hair goes all curvy. <laughs> oh, 
that's just a soccer problem, isn't it? That's a football thing. That's perm. That's too tight on the rollers. <laughs> Islington hairdressers. Are they really? Islington? What the fuck are you talking about? I don't know. It's... <laughs> right. Um, what's this? Um, <laughs> I didn't need that mind. Because Marcel Marceau, you know, I've worked out. There's a whole gun problem in America, because I've traveled through in America, and they have this whole gun problem, and the people say how to deal with it. I think you should ban handguns, and there's been an outcry, but then allow artillery. Because <laughs> it'll slow them down. You go, come on. <laughs> Just field artillery from World War II. The fuzz. <laughs> Bug. It's one of the most tiring mimes I've ever done, that one. I'd say that to Marcel Marceau. I said, it's really tiring, the artillery mime. Marcel? <laughs> Marcel, it's a really obvious gag, but they laughed. <laughs> Marcel, have you hung yourself? <laughs> Come on, lad, say something. Il est, qu'est-ce qu'il a sur la plage? L'éléphant de ma tante. J'habite près de la mer et j'habite tout près de Monsieur Kiska Destin. That was really going well, Marcel. That would blow it, blow the end bit. It already tailed off there. Ad living's not all it's cracked up to be. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I'll talk to you. Yeah, welcome. Yeah, bye. Key lock. <laughs> oh, oh, what a 2003 joke. <laughs> Ten years ago, we wouldn't know key lock. We wouldn't know key lock would be so important. <laughs> Otherwise, you phone people up and you just <laughs> you get a message for some of this. Steve, Steve, Steve. Steve, you got your phone on? <laughs> Steve, switch your fucking phone off, mate. <laughs> if you haven't got a mobile phone, then you won't know what I'm talking about. But... <laughs> Thank God for Keylock. Oh, God, before Keylock. Endless phone calls that went on like that for hours. Anyway, uh, so, uh, uh, um, Help me. <laughs> what? Oh, hunter gatherers, yes. So, hunter and gatherers. And they hunted mammoth as well, didn't they? You, I'm not sure. They're huge fucking elephants. I mean, bro, got him. Got, oh, he's not stopping. He's not stopping. <laughs> Just, have you got the um, oh, three and a four? Make a four. In nowadays, see, woolly mammoth is just, is an, it should be called woolly elephant, shouldn't it? Because they're just elephants with wool, aren't they? But they have an elephant bloody gun. What was it? They didn't have a, you know, mammoth spear. Give me the mammoth spear. <laughs> just run onto this, would you, Mr. Mammoth? <laughs> Too bloody big to hunt. But they invented things. This is 50,000 years ago. And remember, our civilization, back to the Egyptians and the dog people there, that were five and a half thousand years. 50,000 years, long bloody time. And they invented fire. Someone invented fire. People say, well, fire was from a lightning strike, hit a tree, someone took a breath. I don't think so. Because we've been out of thunder and lightning, and it's fucking scary. <laughs> and we, in, in our minds we go, it is an electronic discharge from the thing down, and in our, in our hearts, in our bodies, we go, fucking gods are angry, they hate us. <laughs> we have sin. We have done original sin and unoriginal and just copied sin and all that shit. <laughs> yeah, it's just scary. I don't, and even nowadays, if you were next to a tree and it went <laughs> with lightning, I don't think anyone here would go, I'll grab a branch, we'll do marshmallows. <laughs> Ipso facto, if that means anything, I don't think back then they would have done it either. 
So someone must have invented fire. There must have been a day before fire and a day after fire. Day before, it'd be, oh, God, it's freezing. So, so cold. Turn, turn the, uh, turn, turn nothing up. Yeah. <laughs> Throw another log on, on your brother. <laughs> What's for tea? Salad. <laughs> I had salad yesterday. Yeah. Can we get variety? What? Salad? I could pronounce it differently. What do you want? You could have salad. You move around the country, you get different pronunciations. No, I just want... Okay, does it have a dressing? Uh, what, like a bandage? No. Uh, balsamic vinaigrette. Does it have balsamic vinaigrette? Where the fuck did balsamic vinaigrette come from? Eh? Balsamic fucking vinaigrette. Uh, how long ago? Ten years? <laughs> Would you like a dressing? What have you got? We've got Thousand Island, we've got 970 Island, we've got 400 Island, we've got Three Mile Island. Oh, balsamic vinaigrette, balsamic vinaigrette, balsamic vinaigrette. I would like some balsamic vinaigrette, balsamic vinaigrette. It was just some, some suggestive thing. And it's yummy. <laughs> and what's it made out of? Balsa, balsa wood, balsa wood. It's, F, it's, it's model aeroplane, isn't it? You make a model aeroplane and you go, fuck it, so let's put it in the salad, put it in the salad, put it in the salad. <laughs> and then you eat the salad and the solvent, you go, ah, oh, the salad, oh. the glue, it's the glue, you know, like, oh, look at the salad, oh, it's so creamy. <laughs> and solvent abuse, you fuck in salad, you fuck off your salad. Should be funny. <sighs> yes. So, um, there must have been someone who said, I'm not having salad anymore, I'm going to... Bloody change this. Look, Jeff, what are you doing? Come and have your salad. It's getting warm. No, no Sheila, I'm going to invent something right here. What? After you've masturbated. This, that's not masturbation. If you do that to your penis, it'll come off at the hinge. <laughs> right, well, well I, this is, I'm twig, sp yeah, twig spinning. I can see, no, this is a thing. It's a spec, you're drilling to China. China hasn't been invented yet. Ah. Oh, so how 45,000 years ago of you in the future? It'll work out in Eastbourne when they explain it. <laughs> Sheila, you got mad. No. What? Uh, look, I, don't, I did this yesterday. I spin the twig and it makes smoke and it makes orange and yellow stuff. Uh, it's, it's got warm. I'm going to be famous, Sheila. Jeff, you're not going to be famous. Come and have your sign. I, I'm going to be. Jeff Fire, you are not going to be famous. <laughs> I am Sheila, and you know I'm gonna call it? I'm gonna call it Jeff. <laughs> For years they would say, throw another log on the Jeff. <laughs> Let's put a Barbie on the Jeff. Ooh, early porn. <laughs> ah, it's an old pornography joke, you've heard it all. Eastbourne, you're a crazy rock and roll town. <laughs> well, rocks. <laughs> Pebbles. Um, Yes, so they invented that. So they invented fire, and then someone invented the wheel. They say the person who invented the wheel was a genius. No, I think the person who invented the axle was a genius, yes. Because <laughs> a wheel without an axle is just a lazy Susan. <laughs> and what was that before the wheel was invented? Lazy Susan was just a girl who stood in the middle of the table with some food and said, what do you want, what do you want? <laughs> oh, noodles, fuck off, I haven't got any. What? <laughs> what, jam, fuck off. No, <laughs> all right, you can have some rice, all right. What? Hang on. Just give us a second, for fuck's sake. Oh, you're bloody lazy, Susan. I am. <laughs> Just pointing that out. For the joke's purposes. So, so you invent a wheel. The guy invented the wheel was obviously crackers. I have invented a major new transport thing. Oh, really? Yes. How does it work? You strap your body around the wheel, and then your friend pushes you down the hill. You break your back in three places. Only three places. <laughs> Have you met Axel Rod? <laughs> Hello. Well, what have you invented? I've invented the pole. You're Axel Rod and you invented the pole? Yes. What are you going to call it? I'm going to call it... One of those three. <laughs> so you've got to put, you put an axle on a wheel and then you've got nothing. You've just got a thing that goes round and round and round. And, round. and you've got to get another wheel on. Ah, so you have to invent two fucking wheels if you think about it. And then that doesn't work, because that's a great thing for travelling. How? You stand on the axle, go... Uh, <laughs> so, no, 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 put a chair on the axle, attach it to the chair, ah... <laughs> <laughs> no, you have to drill a hole. There's so many different inventions have to make it. 
So, they invented it. And there were two types of human bipedy type things. There was Neanderthals and Homo sapiens. We're like cousins, like kissing cousins, except we didn't kiss. Neanderthals, of course, heavy eyebrow ridge. <laughs> and that kind of... Uh, 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 you know, with that kind of look of, oh, i got a headache. <laughs> uh, I feel so close to extinction. <laughs> Very hardy, but not so bright upstairs. Homo sapiens, slightly more... Uh, how are you getting on there? <laughs> Neanderthal. Uh, all going all right? Uh, not too good yesterday. We went hunting and half our tribe was killed when they fell on themselves. <laughs> and I've hurt my knee. <laughs> and we've got no butter. <laughs> yes, well, always good talking to you. <laughs> Must go. I've got some swatches of moss for the new cave we're moving into. <laughs> Local traps doing some paintings of things, jumping things, I don't know, gazelles or whatever. Should look good, should be fetch a pretty penny in a couple of years. Where are you living these days? I am living in a bit of my own excrement. <laughs> ah, well, good idea. Keeps you warm, yeah? Uh, what? Well, your poo keeps you warm, is that...? <laughs> the poo from your body, doesn't it keep your body...? Is that the idea? Uh, no, I um, thought of that. The estate agent said bathroom en suite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's where you box clever there. Right. <laughs> Peter Sellers in the goons. Now, so, uh, and then Neanderthals, they died out. 200,000 years. They developed for 200,000 years. And then one went, ah, oh, fuck it. <laughs> and they, they died out. Is there a bit, uh, uh. So they must have started. <laughs> 50,000 years of evolution. Uh. 100,000? Ah. 150? Ah. Uh. 200,000? Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> and thank God they died, because if they had made it through, then human, Homo sapiens wouldn't have made it. Then everything would be different, you know. Television would be, you know, Book of the Month Club on television would be. And now we have <laughs> Professor and, uh, and what do you think of this book? What? <laughs> you think of this book in a critical way is all right <laughs> there you have it it's all right <laughs> the news programs will be and now uh, we have what breaking news uh, uh, what's all this here what's this line what's this white thing going along here what's this crawler thing what's the more news uh, now, uh, over to Steve. Huh? Steve, what? Steve, what's going on? What? Where? Where you are? What? Uh, what now? What? What? Here? Uh. Now, over to the polit politicians debating who will be leader. I would like to be leader because I got teeth. <laughs> I'd like to be leader because I haven't. <laughs> and have no need of dentistry. I don't want to be leader. <laughs> I'm in it for cash. <laughs> Shakespeare would it to be or not to be, you know, maybe it's a question <laughs> where there's no a suffer slings and arrows and a club in the face <laughs> or to wrestle a rat for half an hour, you know? Maybe that's nobler. Anyway, that's all for me. Love Bill. <laughs> and those whole fucking changing room programmes would be. All right, well, you know, I thought we'd put excrement here and an excrement there, then poo along here, up there, then poo, then poo, then a bit of wee, then poo, <laughs> then poo, then wee, then wee, and then a poo bar here. <laughs> and here they come. Uh... <laughs> and what do you think? This is shit. So that didn't happen. <laughs> but then, 45,000 years ago, fact seekers, what happened was that something like that. There was an ice age, of course, and everything got jolly jolly cold in the North and South Poles, a lot more ice, 
And then the sea level goes down to make all that ice, goes down by the height of a 40-story block of flats. Residential office, doesn't really matter. <laughs> and so in around the equator, it gets not only hot, it gets super duper hot. So the people in Africa were saying, look, I may be African, but I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> And some of them went up via Egypt into Central Asia, and some of them went down through Ethiopia, past Yemen, and down into Australia. Yemen, another my, my hometown. Yeah, so I am a child of the Middle East. I am a child of the... And so I look to the East and West, like we do with medicine. We have East and Western. The Western's very pill-driven. The Eastern is uh, more curious, like... Um, like Acupuncture. I've had acupuncture. I don't know if you've had it, but I've seen it on telly and they push those little needles in. And obviously in the body there's levels of ow, 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 and in between ow there's sort of yum or sponge cake or something. And they seem to push it in the sponge cake bit so it doesn't hurt. Oh, that's all on telly. It's all in the matrix. <laughs> and so I had it because I, I, I have a rotator cuff problem here. My shoulder's all kind of fucked up. Because in the rotator cuff, you've got four muscles. You've got the supraspinatus, you've got the pubis uh, the kind of long twangy one, and, but they're all blue and red. You've seen those models, aren't they? They're all blue and red, except one is green with a white band around it, and that's the earth. And then you <laughs> tie that in, and then you plug your arm into the wall or something like that. Anyway, so I had acupuncture, because I'd had steroids and that seemed bad, it didn't work, so I had acupuncture, and I pushed the needle in, and it felt like a small needle being pushed into my arm. <laughs> it's not ow, it's kind of, oh. But 30 of them equals ow. And I, look, I couldn't look at it, because it looked like I swallowed a hedgehog. <laughs> so I had that out, and then I went and had an MRI, where you go into this tube thing, it's like going into a coffin and some steel band playing on your head. That was hellish. Then I had a CAT scan, and he didn't know what he was doing. Yeah! <laughs> so I gave it to the dog, and there was no way. So. But uh, dentistry, interestingly, we've only seemed to have Western dentistry. No Eastern dentistry, is there? It's just Western. I mean, there must be some Eastern stuff, but the Western is basically torture. Still in the torture field. It's still those two noises when you went to the dentist when you were a kid. There's... <laughs> It's just the dentist talking. <laughs> I haven't seen you for a while. I haven't seen you since the other day. He's a fine young lad. Let's drill his face off, shall we? <laughs> and they start softly, softly, catchy monkey with, ah, right, we're going to do a little x ray there. I'm going to put the machine up to your face. Okay, this is not dangerous at all. I'm just going to go to the Bahamas for a second. I've left my cat in the fridge there. Um, <laughs> No, no, maybe not. I'll come back. What you say? Your face feels a little drippy? Well, that's okay. Little runny, does it? Maybe you're hunter-gatherer. There you go. Okay, now, and then when they put the x-ray on that thing, that's when it all gets... Because we don't know what it looks like. It just... They go, ah, there you see, that's, that's decay. What? That's my skull, isn't it? No, that's... Just, well, I, I, no, the black bit. Well, that's my skull. That's my whole head. Yes, we're going to have to drill your head off. We don't know how to... They can just say anything. Ah, you see there, you've lost your nose. <laughs> what? you got no teeth. That's, you're a monkey, basically. What are you worried about? Right, we're going to have to drill... And then they start with a little bit of pokey-pokey. We're going to do a bit of mirror mirror on the wall, which tooth has got to fall. And pokey-pokey-pokey with that pokey thing. Pokey-pokey-pokey, pokey-pokey, pokey-pokey-pokey, pokey-pokey-pokey-pokey. And then they're doing that code, 2TL9447, TS1, Alpha Charlie, Bravo, Tango, Foxtrot, 2,000 feet over a monkey's head. It all means something. First tooth, strong, solid. Maybe I can dislodge it if I knock it. <laughs> and some equipment. Second tooth, good, but bleeding around the gums, the thin white towel of death must be used to... <laughs> saw down the edge and make it fall out like... The bulk of the Berlin Wall, that would be nice. Third tooth decay is round the edges. The decay that I planted last time has taken hold. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna have to drill. <laughs> Whee -haw, gonna have to drill. Whee Fire it up, nurse. I'm gonna drill his face off. <laughs> Whee <laughs> Hang on. You drill up. You drill up. Then they become like bad carpenters. <laughs> <laughs> Nurse, could you put your 
finger in his mouth and go. making the noises. <laughs> right, rinse. <laughs> I'm out of the, I'm out of the thing. Where's the button? Where's the button? Why do you have to press the fucking button for this thing? Why can't I press the fucking button? What's the pressures about the bloody red stuff? Give me, just turn it on. It's like they dole that stuff out. Then he goes, right, I've drilled your face off. You got stumps for teeth. I'm gonna screw in some new ones. They're the new titanium teeth. They screw them in, and they're sponsored by the makers of Scrabble. <laughs> so they've got letters and numbers on them. <laughs> so there we go. Top row, I'm gonna tell fantastically. That's 41 points. Bottom row, fuck me, baby. <laughs> 71 points. If you smile, it should happen. Just, it's all drilling. There's just no invention, everything new. We've got a better drill, faster drill, and it's hot. Can't they just make them quiet? It's, like, da, da, da. it's all, you can feel <laughs> All that fucking, and my dentist said recently, he was a nice guy, he said, there's I've got a water blower, it blows plaque off your teeth. I thought, fantastic. But it blows it at the speed of sound, and therefore it feels like 72 daggers. <laughs> Even one dentist said, I've got this cream, tell me, I rub it on your tooth, tell me when it hurts. And I go, uh, ah, oh, that hurts, ah, uh, oh, that hurts, ah, oh, that hurts. Uh, what is it? This is just a hurty cream, it just hurts. <laughs> Who wants to be a dentist? Who wants to be a dentist? Anyway, I'm gonna finish up tonight so we can all go home. I'm gonna finish up tonight, uh, but I just wanna mention something on horses. Because um, when I was a kid, I did horse riding. Now, as probably some of you did. But I have found out recently that we didn't. <laughs> what we experienced was horses doing child wearing. <laughs> yes, it's true. They've got footage of it on a documentary called What Horses Do. And horses go, yes, I've joined the stable. And they provide you with children. <laughs> they have their own straps and everything. And I go up the hills and they eat the grass, I drink the water, just tr trot around, nothing fast. And the kids exercise your neck and you know, they tickle you in the ribs and you can bite their feet. And you come back to the stables, they remove the children and they burn them, I believe. <laughs> or some of them they take to aeroplanes and make cry with forks. <laughs> it's just, that's why I couldn't get this fucking horse going. Come on, you fucking go. Click, 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 click. I mean, that wasn't a Western to me with my black bobble hat on. <laughs> Steve McQueen was never in a black bobble hat with a yellow bloody roll neck jumper. That, I wasn't cool, I looked like a dickhead. <laughs> I wanted danger, the wind in my hair, not the wind in my black bobble hat. <laughs> Crappiest hat in the world. God, I hated it. I mean, fox hunting is, there's a big fox hunting thing. There's these arguments in Britain about fox hunting. And they go around, they obviously hunt the foxes because the foxes, they attack chickens, and posh people have an alliance with chickens, just like in the First World War. <laughs> if chickens get invaded by foxes, then the posh people come in, because they go to the same clubs. <laughs> yes, I know what you... <laughs> yes, I went there, it was very, very sunny. <laughs> you lost your head? <laughs> How did you get on? <laughs> oh, really? That's very funny. <laughs> Don't you have to do a punchline, see? <laughs> so anyway, they, they chat... <laughs> They find the fox. Mr. Fox, you must be culled. How would you wish to die? By lethal injection would be the safest and most painless way. How would you like to be ripped apart by dogs? <laughs> I'd really rather not. <laughs> <laughs> and they get the dead fox and they get small children and they go, go on, blah, 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 blah. There you go, little Johnny. Rub your face in the dead bloody bunny there. Thank you, Father. I will never be fucked up by this. <laughs> <laughs> Never affect me in any way, I hope, to grow up to be a member of the aristocracy and not be odd at all. <laughs> but anyway, horses, they're trained, they're trained by people. People with whips, walk on, walk on, kumba, kumba, hoo la la, hoo la la, hinda, hoo la. Sheepdogs as well, hoo, kumba. 
Or horse whispers. You've heard of horse whispers. They're very touchy feely. Very much from the oh, there, boy, there, boy, there, there. I've got you. Why don't you get along? And that you, you, you are there. You can't run a position. You. Horse is going. What? I, I'm quite handsome. <laughs> I said, why don't you get I'll tell you what to do because it's the foot together. So, oh, tell me what to do. Now, I tell you quite a bit. I can't. Can you, can you speak up? Horse whispers are onto a loser. It's horse shouters who are the better trainers. Walk up, walk forwards, walk you, walk forward. Stop, 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 or I shoot you with a gun. <laughs> but anyway, with all this horse training, I got a Western, I, I got cast in a Western last year. Cast in a bloody Western, fantastic. Knowing how to do a black bubble hat like that. <laughs> can you ride? Like, a, like an amazing person, sir. <laughs> oh, you should see me ride. Use that one, that's good. It goes both ways. You, you good at riding? You should see me ride. No. So I did. It was in a, a French western. Uh, it's called Blueberry. It's out in February in, in, in Paris. And, and, and uh, I mean, I'm a German cowboy. It's English speaking. It's like, it's like a spaghetti western. It's a baguette western. I feel like <laughs> that's the similarity. That's not supposed to be funny. That's just, you know. So next thing I know, I'm in Mexico, three months on horses. First day, me, Michael Madsen, a uh, Mexican actor called Antonio, on horses. And I'm going, God, I could be tr trotting out of this like this. I'm a big badass thing, and then go. Clink, 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 stupid hat on, clink, clink, clink. I thought, God, I better make this horse, make sure, give him a bit of a kick, got spurs on. I thought, oh, I could give him a bit of a, easy, easy. Because the spurs go clank, clank, pretty good. So I'm there on the horse. And they say, what do you do? Okay, they say, well, what do you do is you say your lines and then you go, ha, the horses go off, gallop out of frame, and then we'll shout cut when we've got enough. Okay, thanks. Okay, you ready? Michael Madsen over there, very quiet. The horses are all, no, none of us are good on horses. The horses are all just, at one point, Antonio's horse is facing the other way around. I thought, my God, he's either brilliant on a horse or he's not. <laughs> So okay, yeah, okay, action, hey, blah, 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 blah. Chiricawa, we, got, we must get out of here. Head to those mountains over there. Okay, here we go. Ha! About 160 miles an hour. I was not trying to touch him with the spurs. I was trying to ride like this. <laughs> This is a huge Mexican horse. Go... <laughs> can't hear, can't, can't hear fucking anything. Just the, this horse just going, it's, it's in the north of Mexico. He's going off the US border. <laughs> You can't come in here. Where are you born? Uh, Yemen. Ow. <laughs> then I remember, turn him in a circle. That slows him down. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Canadian border. Hey, you can't. Just hang on your. <laughs> I, got a, I got a gun. Sharks. <laughs> then the fire brigade. Into the fire brigade house. Up the sliding pole. <laughs> Whee! And I made my escape from the horse. <laughs> anyway, that's. 
that is all from me here tonight in East Point. Thank you very much for being here. It's good to be back. Thank you. All right. Basically, what I'm doing is very slow strip tease here. <laughs> yes, stripper libraries. That's what we want, isn't it? You see, because libraries, people don't go there. But if it was a stripper library, kids would be going, uh, yeah, I'd like a, a, a book on, on anything. <laughs> How about the Etruscans? Yeah, the Etruscans. Yeah, elephant book, great. <laughs> they have big tusks. Hell. Where's she gone? I was going to give her a quid. I was going to put a quid coin in her G-string. Anyway, um, <laughs> how far can we go with this one? I've never been to a strip club, but I've heard that people put clothes on or something, and then they took... I'm not sure. Um, all right, finish up. Finish up, I'm going to do my latest bad impression. Yes, sir. Now, my impressions are incredibly bad, and they've been known throughout the state of China as bad. Well, good impressionists just do somebody's voice, and you go, it's Steve McQueen, it's Robert De Niro. I tend to tell everyone who I'm going to do to help <laughs> and explain that it might not sound like them. <laughs> this is Christopher Walken. And, uh, and as done by someone else, I did Down the, Down the Death of Joe Egg on Broadway, and an actor called Michael Gaston was in that, and he had done Shakespeare with Christopher Walken. I didn't know Christopher Walken did Shakespeare. So uh, Michael did this impression, and I nicked this of Michael, and he knows about that. But, but Christopher Walken doing Iago in Othello, yeah, yeah, this is according to, yeah, Othello, your wife. It's great, you should kill her with a pillow. Yeah, it's crazy. She's Desi. She drives us crazy. Yeah, uh, or even to be, and not to be. You no, know, it's a question. <laughs> it's nobler. Uh, suffer. Uh, you know, slings and arrows uh, and shit. Uh, now is the winter of our discontent. Yeah, isn't me? A glorious summer uh, by the sun of York. Uh, oh, all the clouds are loud. <laughs> going a bit off Christopher Walken. <laughs> tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. You know, it's a petty pace, it goes on. Uh, this watch, this watch, it's your father's watch, it's your grandfather's watch, it's, 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 it's your birthright. It's your. It, your daddy, he shot down over an eye. So was I, we were in the prison camp, you know. He knew this watch, it's your right. He's, he doesn't want no slant eyes gonna get their hands on the watch. What does he do with the watch? He puts it in one place, he up his ass. He puts it up his ass. In five long years, this watch up his ass. He dies of watch in ass disease. <laughs> Give me the watch. I put the watch up my ass. I get watch in ass syndrome. <laughs> it's your watch now. You can wear, wear it, but don't put it up there. <laughs> wear it on your wrist. Don't lick it. <laughs> what a choice, please. Anyway, thank you very much. Good night.